When it comes to the most incredible display of skill and sportsmanship, no event comes closer than the Olympic Games, which revolves around the greatest athletes in the world competing against one another for gold on behalf of their countries. And with the 2020 Tokyo Olympics finally in full swing, fans are glued to their screens in support of their favorite contestants, waiting in anticipation to be inspired once more. But what are the most inspiring moments from the past Olympic Games, and can we expect anything great this time around? Around. Well, whether you're a fanatic when it comes to the Olympics or just want to know more about the games that have passed, stay right where you are, as we're about to explore some of the most inspirational moments from the history of the event. So strap yourselves in and get ready for one heck of a journey, as things are about to get exciting. But before we dive into it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of the new videos we post. Number 1. Lawrence Lemieux in South Korea First up on our list is a moment that took place at the the 1988 Olympic Games in South Korea and involves the often overlooked sport of sailing. For those of you who haven't watched a sailing event at the Olympic Games, the rules are pretty simple. The competitors are placed in a line with one another and compete to make their own way around a point and back. In classic race style, the sailor who comes first is granted the lusted after gold medal, and so on and so forth. Quite an exciting event. In all honesty, unless there is no wind to speak of, then things can be a tad boring. Sailing buffs will remember that back in 1988, Lawrence Lemieux was one of the best athletes in the sport. The man of Canadian and Finnish descent was a favorite to win the gold in South Korea and had an incredible start to the event that appeared to put this dream of his within the realm of possibility. But then something highly unfortunate happened. The winds of around 30 knots and waves of up to 12 feet high, a competitor found himself unable to hold on, causing his vessel to capsize. The current then continued to sweep the sailor far from his boat, putting him at risk and drowning in the vicious waters. At the time of the accident, Lemieux was in second place and looked to be catching up to first. When he saw everything go down, he decided to abandon the race once and for all in an attempt to save his competitor from a grueling fate. After rescuing his fellow contestant and waiting for the rescue boat to arrive, Lemieux continued the race, finishing in 21st place overall and still beating a grand total of 11 competitors despite his heroic actions. It was a moment that showed that some things are more important than gold, silver, or bronze medals, and made Lemieux the talk of the 1988 South Korean Olympic Games. What an absolute unit. Number 2. Sean White in Vancouver With skateboarding now considered to be an official sport of the Olympic Games, we thought we'd look back at an incredible moment that involves the frigid cousin of the sport. We are referring to the athletic art of snowboarding, which only made its way into the Olympic Games back in 2006. The arrival of the sought-after event in the Olympics caused a great number of snowboarders to practice their hearts out in an attempt to make some well-deserved waves in the world. No longer did they have to feel content with success at the X Games, they now have the ability to become Olympians. This is when one of the best snowboarders in the world decided to step up to the plate. With the announcement that Sean White was on his way to the Winter Olympics in Vancouver, everyone knew that 2010 was going to be a year to remember. They were 100% correct in their assumption. White showed up and demolished the competition, showing audiences just how far snowboarding had come after its inclusion in the Olympic Games. He ended up pulling off the world's first double McTwist 1260, which Sean called the Tomahawk. This trick is still considered to be the most difficult trick ever landed in the history of snowboarding and absolutely blew the 900 that Tony Hawk had landed in the realm of skateboarding a few years earlier out of the water. This was one of the most inspirational moments for all lovers of extreme sports and caused far more people to become interested in the Olympic Games, which to that point was considered by many to be a snore fest. Number 3. Nadia Comaneci in Montreal When it comes to legendary gymnast moments at the Olympic Games, there's none better than that insane 30-second uneven bars routine that Nadia Comaneci pulled off at the 1976 Olympic Games in Montreal. For those of you who don't know, gymnast events are scored out of 10, with added multipliers based on the difficulty of the movesets that are being executed. As such, the highest score that a gymnast is able to achieve is 10, which to that point had never been done in the history of the sport. Records are obviously meant to be broken, which is precisely what we saw when Nadia Comaneci stepped into the spotlight for her first ever event in the Olympic Games. 
Her 30-second uneven bars routine was executed so perfectly that Komenich was awarded the first 10 in the history of the sport, shocking the world and inspiring gymnasts who came after her to work even harder. But Komenich didn't just stop there, she went on to receive six more perfect 10s and won three gold medals at the Games, making her one of the most successful gymnasts of the decade. Something that has to be kept in mind about her performance is that she was only 14 years old at the time. Despite the incredible pressure that was placed on her shoulders, Shoulders, the young Romanian teenager flourished and made history more than six times over. When she participated in the Moscow Olympic Games in 1980, she picked up a grand total of two gold medals and another two perfect tens, showing that she wasn't going anywhere in the days to come. Number 4. Herman Meyer in Nagano the next inspirational moment on our list has to do with a comeback of epic proportions and shows that even the best fail at times. To truly come to terms with this moment, we have to travel all the way back to the ski racing event that took place on the slopes of Nagano at the 1998 Winter Olympic Games. Here we saw Herman Meyer suffer one of the most horrendous falls in the history of the event, making headlines and the cover of Sports Illustrated as a result. The cover picture was none other than one of the Austrian skiers soaring off the mountainside overlooking a Japanese alpine village. A beautiful picture, no doubt, but a horrendous incident for Meyer who suffered a hard landing after tumbling through some of the competition safety nets that luckily prevented him from rolling further. After showing that he was alright and being taken for some much deserved medical attention, Meyer was back on the slopes in no time, the surprise of his fans. This was a moment he'd been waiting for his entire life, after all, and he wasn't about to let it slip from him because of one lousy fall. Despite the accident, Herman Meyer competed and claimed gold in two whole events, showing that the most important part about falling is making sure that you get back on your feet as soon as possible. It was a moment of inspiration that caused the ski racing event to be flooded with competitors in the days after it had taken place, with many citing Meyer as the reason for their growing interest in the sport. Number 5. North and South Korea in Sydney Funnily enough, one of the most inspirational moments from the past Olympic Games had absolutely nothing to do with any of the sports being competed in that year. It was a historical moment that had been organized by the athletes and coaching staff of both North and South Korea. We are referring to the moment that North and South Korea marched under a unified banner during the opening ceremony of the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney, Australia. After decades of unrest following an era of post-Korean War that caused the country to be divided for more than a century, this is a moment that showed audiences that regardless of your differences, sport can always be used to bring people together. This was the first time that the two countries had found common ground since the bloody war that divided them, and it went down in history as one of the most important moments in the history of the games. The unification flag that they marched under featuring a blue image of the Korean peninsula on a white background background is something that was only used during the opening ceremony. The countries still compete against one another under their own respective flags when it comes to the actual events of the games. Still though, this is a moment that will not be forgotten anytime soon. Number 6. The Jamaican Bobsled Team in Calgary Last but not least, we have the incredible moment that resulted in the creation of Cool Runnings, one of the best movies out there based on the 1988 Calgary Olympic Games. For those of you who don't know, this was the first time that Jamaica, an island paradise, had ever qualified for the bobsled event at the Winter Games. Not surprising considering how rare it is to find any ice in the sunny nation. Although the Jamaicans didn't win, they wowed the crowds and audience by their performance. Unfortunately for them though, they were unable to finish their fourth run after their bobsled went careening off, causing them to fall. So while the team didn't win any medals, there's no question that they won our hearts with their display of sportsmanship and dedication. What do you think of these inspirational moments? Be sure to let us know in the comments section down below.